The first honorary doctor is Professor Jared Mattingly, who will be presented on a short video on the screen behind me. Cheryl is a very intense, very theoretically advanced anthropologist and she can write, she can bring empirical work and theoretical concepts together in a way that can make academics cry. Uh, <laughs> Next. Uh, Cheryl has been extremely influential in anthropology. I mean, one of her, one of her first books, the, the Healing Dramas and, uh, and Clinical Plots, got very famous for the work that she did with uh, narratives. Um, not only as stories, but narratives as practice. I suddenly got a different idea of what stories could do. So I was watching, especially on the spinal cord unit where I spent like two years, watching therapists interacting with patients and a lot of them young men and young men who had been active in their lives and through car accidents or other traumas, they were suddenly paralyzed. The question for them, whether they wanted to ask it or not, was what kind of future do I have? Who am I? What's possible in my life? And these were not just practical questions, but really ethical questions and, and questions that reminded me of the kind of ethics that comes from the ancient Greeks, what is a flourishing life, what kind of life is worth living. So I combined my interest in anthropology with an interest in philosophy and especially in moral philosophy. She's an outstanding researcher. She's an anthropologist, but she's just as much a philosopher, I think. But uh, then in an extraordinary way, she has been able to combine these uh, disciplinary uh, capabilities from philosophy and anthropology in developing uh, interdisciplinary action-oriented uh, or practice-oriented health research. And I'm still writing from that research. I mean, it, it, we, we, we officially ended after 15 years, but we still keep in contact with some of the families. Uh, that life over time of the family has changed also the way I've thought about the ethical dimensions of, um, of care. My connection with philosophy has a lot to do with my connection to Aarhus. We invited Cheryl to Denmark in 92, uh, 26 years ago. I got a request from a philosopher from Aarhus University asking me to come to talk about my work. And she has then been an engaged member in our Humanistic Health Research Center ever since. And I have been involved in a whole series of conferences that were collaborations between anthropologists and philosophers at Aarhus. We collaborate in a way that I think we didn't do uh, before she was here. So she has really brought us together. I'd like to invite Professor Mattingly to come forward. <laughs> professor Mattingly, you're a professor of anthropology at the University of Southern California and one of the most highly esteemed medical anthropologists in the world. Your work has been influential far beyond the discipline of anthropology, especially among philosophers and medical professionals. Your research has focused on disability, family care and health disparities for minority populations, in particular Africa and Americans in the US. With your explorations of lives marked by social and bodily precariousness, you offer a special entrance to rethinking the human condition and humanism itself. You have been a frequent visitor to Aarhus University. You have been a visiting professor in departments of philosophy and anthropology here at Aarhus University. 
You are currently a member of the Center for Health, Culture and Society, and in 2013 to 15, you were a Dale T. Mortensen Fellow at the Institute of Advanced Studies at Aarhus University. We are delighted that you have been able to devote so much of your valuable time to working in Aarhus. And we treasure all you have done for this university. It, it is my great privilege and pleasure to confer on you the degree of Doctor Scientiarum Anthropoticarum Honoris Causa at Aarhus University. <laughs>